the day I created the song, I think I was just in a super bummer mood. Uh, and I was kind of doing this thing where I was just like chasing my worst impulses. People do kind of relate to just like the worst version of themselves, I think. The song was originally titled, That's What The Drugs Are For. And then I was informed that I could not keep that title. I, I, I really wish the song was titled what the song should be titled because that's its true title. I mean, when I finished this, I really just felt like a powerful demon, kind of. Like, I was just like, yeah. I mean, this track took like a hundred hours, just in terms of the, the, the actual engineering of this track, like making it not sound like a pile of mush, but also still enough mush. Because I wanted it to sound like roaring beasts, kind of like Leviathan in the mist, kind of just like scary, just like giant behemoth kind of things, just being like <laughs> And so it's like, there's a lot of reverb, but it also kind of needs to slap on like drums and stuff. The demo was made in like, 12 minutes and then it was like a nightmare of retroactive kind of just like painting it together like bit by bit. But then I just felt fucking great when it was done. I just, I like knew when it was done. It was just like, yeah. So we party when the sun goes low. Imminent annihilation sounds so dope. The song is kind of just about like, sort of when you don't care if you live or die, when you're just kind of like so depressed that you're just like, whatever, fuck it. That opening sentence I kind of sums up the thesis of the song, which is like truly not gi giving a fuck, you know? But th how that gets kind of fun too, you know? Like when you get so dark that it's, it sort of like turns in on itself and it's sort of like, you know, like the Joker. I'm not shy, but I refuse to speak because I don't trust you to understand me. I think I'd probably had like a bad press cycle or something like the day before, I, I, I forget exactly what happened, but it sucks to be misunderstood, especially when you're trying to talk about something nuanced or um, something that you really care about that is like a complex issue or something. Although I still stupidly keep talking. So I, I do not follow my own advice here. <laughs> you know me as the girl who plays with fire. Ah! But this is the song I roll you in the dark. I was just like, what's one up from like playing with fire? Just like, go, like, actually going, just going dark. Being an asshole and just like willful ignorance almost. Like sort of political apathy or something. I hear they're calling my name. The calling my name lyric just kind of came out, but I, I think it's sort of like, you know, like when you're like crazy and you can, yeah, like friends or family or people are like being like, hey, and, and, but you're just, it, it's like a distant echo. I'm not gonna sleep anymore. I'm not gonna sleep anymore. I think I was just sort of like imagining like a crazy bender, like back in the in the day when I would like be in Montreal and just like fucking hole up and like break into some building and hole up with friends and just like graffiti on the walls and just be in there for like 24 hours or something and just have like a, some crazy one or two day like thing. You know, when, when you're just like, you're like fuck the world, fuck reality, fuck the things that need to happen, I'm just gonna like, be destructive. The boys are such a bore. The girls are such a bore. I never trust the government and pray to God for sure, yeah. Why don't I trust the government? I actually can't, as as a non-citizen, I mean, I'm just tr trying to get my green card and I just, you know, bless everyone. That's all. <laughs> I don't need to sleep anymore. That's what the drugs are for. Every city has a place like this Underneath the bridges where the tainted kiss You know, like in Montreal, you just used to always just go like if, and just like, you know, just like break into some building, get to the roof and just sit on the roof and like stare at the city, you know, and, that, and there's just like this like solitude and, and there's just kind of like being in like the belly of the city kind of thing. And it's, it's harder to do, do that in LA. Put an umbrella with butterfly wings so that I can sing along while I break things. Yeah, um, I mean, the song just has a real Smashing Pumpkins vibe to me, just because it's sort of like ethereal metal-ish. It's sort of about a similar kind of like raging helplessness. Paradise on my right and <laughs> hell on my left and the angel of death right behind me. Paradise on my right and <laughs> hell on my left and the angel of death. I mean, I think that's like a Nietzsche quote actually that I stole. The line was just very evocative to me, like making the decision to be good or bad and the specter of death always haunting you. <laughs> she said to God, unfuck the world, unfuck the world, you stupid girl, you stupid girl. A big sort of like theme on, on my album is like this idea of like new, new gods, like modern 
post-technological gods. You know, like misanthropocene is for like the goddess of climate change or whatever. So that was just kind of like summing up, summing up the song, like pulling the song back to the, back to the album thesis. 